What is up guys? Welcome to today's vlog. Don't forget to aim to inspire. Let's get this. So we're at the Thomas Walker historical site. Dr. Thomas Walker was the first explorer of Kentucky. Uh, first settler to build a house here in Kentucky. Uh, say he was a physician, explorer, statesman, surveyor, and planter. Born 1715, died in 1794. Some of the park with the historical site. I think that was his house right there. Not really sure. Wait, see down there, it looks like they got a little slide and stuff. Over here, they got putt putt golf and a little gift shop. Check out this old fashioned fountain, drinking fountain, man. It's pretty cool. Let's see if it works. Well, I don't think it works. Sucks. So actually here's the replica of the first house here in Kentucky. Little log cabin. That's actually pretty neat. Check out the door. It's got a little, little slide and walk on there. Here's what the inside looks like. If you can see that. Little chimney or fireplace. Oh there's a back door. I guess that's where I guess that's where they sat at. I don't know if there's any more windows, but there's where the uh, the fireplace is at. The little chimney. It's pretty neat. Get a little walk around it. This is the back of it. No really windows or anything, just another door. I don't think you can go in there. And that's pretty much what the cab, the first Kentucky cabin looks like. It's actually pretty neat. I think this is it. Yeah. Yeah, that's real wood. It's actually pretty neat. Look at the shutters. The old roof. Everything's made out of wood. It's actually pretty cool. 1750. First house in Kentucky by Dr. Thomas Walker. Ambrose Powell. Tom Linson. Kobe Chu. Henry Lawless. John Hughes. Elected. Erected by George Owens, April 23rd, 1922. That's pretty cool. If you look over there, they got horseshoes, man. It's pretty neat. But check out that view right there, man. Gorgeous. The journey of Dr. Thomas Walker and his five associates in 1750. Uh, in the mid-70s. Completion between England. Or competition between England and France for colonization was fierce. Uh, the governing body of Virginia grants to promote Western colonization in the name of England. Uh, Virginia obtained a grant of approximately 800,000 acres in the Western Territory known as Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky land had established corn rights to the land. Uh, Corn lights were established by building a shelter and planting a corn crop or a land claim. Uh, Thomas Walker appointed as an agent for the Loyal Land Company uh, set out in March 1750 from Cattle, from Castle Hill, Walker's estate near Charlottesville, Virginia, uh, and to the charted Cumberland Mountains. According to Walker's diary, the group reached what is known as Cumberland Gap on April 13th. Four days later, they came upon a large river which Walker named the Cumberland in honor of Duke of Cumberland, whom he admired. Uh, Walker's party became lame. He proposed that three men of the remain of the men remain behind while. He and two others continued their explorations. After Walker's group struggled through the dense laurel thickets, going five miles in one day, he noted in his diary that the land continued much the same, the laurel rather growing worse and food scarcer. Uh, Walker rejoined his other companions and decided to leave the cabin heading north passing through what is now known as 
Slawlersville and Paintsville, then through Salton, Virginia, and home to Castle Hill. The log house at uh, Thomas Walker here at State Historical Site is a replica of the log houses of the pioneer period which were typically made of oak logs, uh, doors made of rough oak slabs held together with wooden pegs rather than metal hinges, and the skinning pole and salting through were also typical of a pioneer household. Interesting facts man. If you see right here is a map of his journeys. Uh, the uh, of him and his five associates in 1750. Uh, the red X's are where he and his five associates traveled throughout the land. It's a long journey. It's pretty pretty neat though. Thank you for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Went and checked out this place called Grateful Ed's Barbecue. Uh, their food's really amazing. And I love the attitude and the friendliness of the uh, people that actually served us. Check out Mr. Murmoosh. Uh, came with the house, so you gotta feed it, right? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you're not notified yet, please hit that bell icon. Later.